Welcome to How to Build Your Resume for International Students. This is part one, adding experiences to your education. So why should you think about building your resume? And what does build your resume even mean? When you think about building your resume, it's really focused on what are you actively doing to create relevant experiences that can be added to your resume. Why might you think it's important to do this? Well, whether you want to work here in the US or back in your home country or even in a third country, experience is always helpful when you're searching for a job. You have the option as an international student of getting an internship or job here in the US. Um, for those of you on an F1 student visa, that's through CPT or OPT. And US employers highly value previous experience in a variety of different ways. Even if you're not interested in staying in the US to work, this is a great way to help you clarify what you want to do with your degree or provide opportunities that you weren't aware of through these different experiences. And you get to apply what you've been learning in the classroom in the quote unquote real world. So what goes on a resume? You really wanna highlight relevant experiences that demonstrate transferable skills. We have a variety of resume guides that you can use, but we're really looking at what are the different things that you're participating in that would be relevant to the position you're applying to. And these can be paid or unpaid opportunities. So how do you go about finding experiences? You wanna first think about the types of experiences that you could do now or in your first one to two years as an undergraduate student on campus. Within your first year, you won't have the option to intern or work off campus with a company, but you can already be building your transferable skills while you're waiting for that opportunity to come. Some areas you can think about participating in are volunteering, employment on campus, joining student organizations, or participating in research on campus as well. These experiences help you build transferable skills, skills that employers are looking for, and you can include them on your resume. We'll be spending more time in the next part of this video series talking about how to find opportunities in these four areas. You want to start making a plan now for your future after graduation. Think about your, your career goals. Identify what those are. How could participating in some sort of experience outside of your academic classes help you meet those goals in the future? Take a moment to write a few down so that you can be ready for part two.